on all you ghouls and ghosts out there. My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you can miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Out with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another reviews and reactions. And we're going to be doing something a little different for this review and or reaction. Uh, we're doing a making of a first on this channel to the front 242 song, Quite Unusual. Uh, I, from what I recall from that music video, very 80s, very industrial uh, setting. I think it was in a factory of some kind, but uh, really enjoyed it. I don't remember the exact score. I think it was four skulls, if I maybe 3.5, I'm not exact. But either way, a link to the original video will be down in the description box for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. And this request comes to us by Matt Proud. Thank you for that lovely, lovely request. I've already reacted to the music video, so uh, yeah. Uh, transparent, the transparency there. Uh, we're also running the Halloween queue. If there's anything Halloween related you'd like me to react to, please leave it in the comments section. The six feet under. I would greatly appreciate that. But no more going around. Let's check it out. All right, ghouls and ghosts. Front 242 with their uh, making of quite unusual. Ok, musique. Plus fort, si tu sais. A remote controlled helicopter containing a 16mm film camera, an abandoned circus, an excellent TV crew from the RTBF, a medium but comfortable budget, these are just some of the ingredients provided by Roxbox for Belgium's most exciting band, Front 242. This, their first ever real video clip, was directed by young, nervous, but extremely efficient director, Serge Begley, seen here, looking important and occupied. Two days shooting and five days of editing mean that this clip is one of the most ambitious adventures that Roxbox has ever undertaken. Front 242 take their work and their projected image very seriously, and this clip was made in close collaboration with the band. But are they happy with the end result? Ah, here's Richard 23 and John Luke. Maybe they'll tell us something. Bien, chers, euh, chers amis, euh, Ré euh, est vraiment désolé. Tu un beau sourire pour la caméra. Fais-moi un enfin, pour moi. Oh, well, maybe later on. In the meantime, here's a few more behind the scenes look at quite unusual. Front 242. La dernière fois qu'on s'est parlé, c'était en avril 86. Qu'est-ce qui se passait depuis? Un single, un maxi, et euh, le tournage d'un clip qu'on est en train de réaliser pour l'instant avec euh, Serge Bergli et euh, toute la compagnie. Euh... Un nouveau, une nouvelle maison de disques? Euh, Retra No Europe, avec qui on a signé et avec qui on travaille maintenant et avec qui on s'entend bien. C'est quoi les clips pour Front? Pour France, c'est un, un domaine dans lequel on n'a jamais vraiment excellé. Et euh, pour le moment, c'est des prises d'image. On, es, on espère arriver à quelque chose d'esthétique. Peut-être plus dans la forme que dans le contenu. Et euh, pour le moment, ça a l'air de bien s'annoncer, apparemment. En fait, tout, euh, tout se tourne très rapidement. Et on essaye de garder euh, la même dynamique dans ce qu'on va faire avec le clip que la dynamique qu'on essaie d'obtenir sur scène. Pas d'histoire, pas d'histoire, pas de scénario, quelque chose de punch. Punch and dynamics are what it's all about for Front 242. And to maintain their incredible energy, Front work out before each performance. This is why a trampoline is being installed. Interesting. 
No, seriously, the trampoline was used to capture some in-air shots of the band filmed from the helicopter. A simple idea, but very effective. Here you see the band enjoying themselves, but will they still be smiling with the helicopter's rotor blades 10 centimetres from their heads? The answer is, of course, yes. Front 242 are, after all, real professionals. Here's the proof. Et France est toujours un groupe très spontané et beaucoup d'énergie. Tournant un vidéoclip, beaucoup de temps mort. Est-ce que c'est facile à garder son... En fait, le temps mort, on les a eu ce matin. Il y avait par exemple deux heures de temps mort, on n'a rien fait. On vient de tourner une séquence de, de, de près d'une demi-heure pendant laquelle on s'est vraiment dépensé. Le temps mort permet de récupérer en fait. Parce que je, les, gens, les gens verront bien que au montage du clip, que c'est très dynamique et que ça demande un effort physique euh, aussi, aussi important que, que ce qu'on donne pendant les concerts. Donc, euh, je crois que la spontanéité, elle est toujours là. Et de toute façon, quand on, <rire> de toute façon, quand on, on, est, quand on est de retour à quatre dans l'action, la, la magie, la fièvre est toujours là. Donc, première grande expérience de vidéoclip, une expérience à continuer On verra après le montage. Hein. Non, sérieusement. On vous fait confiance. On, on verra, on ne sait pas ce que ça va donner. L'ambiance est bonne, mais ça n'augure en rien du résultat final. So, wait and see. In fact, the video was edited by the brilliant Eric Cunson. It's fast-moving, exciting, and will have you on the edge of your seat. What about a last word from Richard 23? Oh, OK. Thanks, Richard. This has just been a brief look behind the scenes of Quite Unusual. The video, in its entirety and splendor, will be screened next week exclusively on Roxbox. Don't, whatever you do, miss it. Interesting. I always love the behind the scenes and seeing, you know, a, a band, not so much like a band, but like them being humans, you know. Interesting look. Uh, there is a couple things to be said about this one. See in the review section. All right, ghouls and ghosts. That was the making of video for quite unusual by front 242 as always linked to original video will be down in the description box waving pleasure at your leisure and again this request comes to us by matt proud thank you again for that lovely lovely request as i said towards the end i i, I absolutely love behind the scenes anything I like to see how everything is set up, the the stagehands, the workers, how much stuff you know goes into a production. Especially because when I was reacting to the video of of this song, never did I think it was filmed by a little mini helicopter. I mean, I, in the 1980s, I guess it was a precursor to the uh, uh, what are they called now? Drones. I, I don't know why. Woohoo! Brain fart. But yeah, drones. I'm, I'm, I'm precursor to, to, to drones, and the, how loud it is, because that thing is spinning. I assume it's very much similar to a real helicopter, and so those blades are going to be quite sharp and dangerous, and all of that. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't fly in any way, shape, or form for uh, trying to, at least from the uh, insurance. Uh, uh, ramifications of something going wrong with that. They don't want their, their bands to, to suffer anything. <laughs> and, but I figured just from like an, uh, you know, just an acting standpoint and how loud and distracting it would be to try to do a performance and then having it like circle around very close as you're jumping on a trampoline. Like I said, you're going to slice some throats, cut your top of your head off. Uh, it was fun and uh, just to see how the band felt about it. Now, I, I I don't know how many music videos Front 242 has done. I've only reacted to this one, and I've seen in my youth the, I don't know if it's a real music video or not, but the music video for Headhunter. Uh, again, very weird and strange. There's like 
clips smashed in of uh, like somebody like whipping or hitting uh, bare butts with like a stick uh, mixed in with a bunch of egg heads. Literally people with just eggs on top of their heads. Like the cone heads, except they're just real eggs. And it was it was weird. It was industrial, quirky. I mean, it's not my idea of a good time for a, a music video, but, you know, to each their own. Uh, I, I, there is some amusement to it. Just, I, I mean, the only thing I can think of is the imagery of someone, you know, headhunting somebody, shooting them in the, in, the, in the head, and having that brain matter come out. And I, I visualize, you know, like, the runny egg yolk, the yellow, and the cracking of the egg, and then splitting down, and doing all sorts of stuff. That's more of my own uh, imagination, so to speak. And, you know, sometimes music videos are nice in that respect, where they have that ambiguity, where you can, you know, the, the listener, the person experiencing it, <coughs> is going to vary from person to person. Well, that's not without, you know, its, it's credence, but... Uh, uh, they, they seem very reserved, very shy. In other words, where they, they let the actions speak for themselves. So, I mean, <laughs> what else can you do? Uh, but that being said, score. Again, what, how do I kind of fit this into my, my normal scores? I suppose, was it entertaining? Was it uh, thoughtful? <coughs> what kind of information did I get from it? So taking all those th uh, all those into consideration, yes, absolutely entertaining. I, I, I like I said, I love behind the scenes. I like to see how th all that kind of gets set up, what their feelings are about certain things, why they chose what they did. I, again, I never would I have thought that using a mini helicopter like a drone would would have been a thing in the uh, later 1980s, and that kind of blew my mind a little bit. So you know there was there was information to be had. A, a deep dive into Front 242, which I don't know a huge a lot uh, to begin with, but uh, it's always good to, to get that extra perspective. Love the music. Uh, the, the music video, like I said, was kind of eh, but having uh, and now understanding how everything took place to make those things happen, I have a little bit more of a deeper appreciation for it. And again, I'm having to extrapolate that into a score. I think I just kind of settled on a score. So let me know how you feel about this score in relationship to uh, what, what I normally score stuff. So, you know, <clears throat> constructive criticism is always welcome on this channel. I'll let you know. Uh, but at homonyms and that sort of thing, kick rocks with that shit. <coughs> that being said, score. I am going to give this four skulls out of five. Absolutely happy with that score for all the reasons I just stated. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Reviews and Reactions. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos. Friday Night Frights, mouthing out with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But as always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared.